nature, blue waters and green forests here. Uh, Enonkoski is located in eastern Finland, Finnish lakeland and Saimaan, about 30 kilometers from Savonlinna. That is the closest town and also the only municipality neighbor of Enonkoski. Welcome to Enonkoski. Uh, I left my car there and uh, this building over here is actually a travel info of Enonkoski. Uh, it is here during the summertime and actually the travel info during the winter time it's over there on the other building. And uh, I think this is a good place to start our visit in Enonkoski. And also Kolovesi National Park Information Center is in this building. But I think we go inside uh, in the end. Now I'm going to take you to a small walk and that walk we are going to start on the other side of this building. So let's go. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, the water is flowing here in the rapid. In, during the old days, Enonkoski uh, was called Enankoski, actually, and Koski means rapid, so the rapid is flowing through the, uh, this village. And then Ena used to mean um, melt water, so actually the water is flowing here also during the winter time. <laughs> Sounds really beautiful. I can imagine what this looks like during the winter time when there are a lot of snow and yeah, winter wonderland. <laughs> oh, what a hot summer day we have today. Uh, I came from there. The travel info is behind that building, and rabbits is there. And now I came to watch this um, sand sculptures. Actually, Enonkoski is one of the smallest municipalities in Finland. But um, what I think is great that um, people here are very active. They, there are a lot of associations and organizations, and they are they are having about I read that about 120 different kinds of events. There are in Enonkoski every year and that's a lot <laughs> for a municipality that has 1452 uh, inhabitants here. <laughs> yeah, this event is a European Championship competition of making these sand sculptures and this year it was the seventh time. Uh, I think the winner was Russia but I think this Norwegian one, that's my favorite. But I think now we are going to head closer to the water again, <laughs> because it's so warm. <laughs> now the sand sculptures are only like 100 meters there, but now I'm already like in the middle of this yeah, beauty of nature and uh, all this peacefulness and this old beautiful houses. There's actually a cafe in that old Merkant house and uh, there was a cafe also in the travel info building and there's water and actually all together there's 840 kilometers of shoreline in, in Enonkoski. So really <laughs> pretty like wherever you go here you can see lakes and rivers and we are the rapid here and lots of forest and yeah very good place to live but also like nice place to visit but there's i heard that there's a really beautiful place i want to show that to you so go, let's go there that was the view that i wanted to show to you Saima Lake View here in Enonkoski, one of the most beautiful ones, I think so. 
Yeah, the municipality center is just like 500 meters that way. And I think it's, it's really great that I'm so close to all those services and, and places, but I'm already like surrounded by nature and uh, all this peacefulness and silence. And yeah, actually silence travel is a concept uh, in tourism. And I strongly believe that it's going to be more and more popular in the future. And actually in Enongoski there are living uh, five uh, people per square kilometer. <laughs> so very, very little, the plenty of free space here. And I think silence and ability to have a connection to nature are going to be things that are people are going to need and more and more in the future and that's why I think places like like Enenkoski there are many more these kind of places also in Finland are great destinations for people who who want to experience some silence and uh, it is said that outer silence helps to discover your inner peace and I think there's something in it. <laughs> Finnish summer is short but so very nice. Mm. What a warm. Uh, this is actually a, a museum very old and beautiful buildings. Inside that building there's a, uh, yeah you can go and see old Finnish agriculture products and uh, things that people have used during the old times when they have lived here. Very interesting ones. There's also a person telling about the, those historical products. Worthwhile to visit. And then there's a school and libraries um, behind those trees and then there's a church yeah so we have walked almost a circle in in the school and library there's uh, uh, exhibitions especially during the summertime they are also worthwhile to visit here if you want to see or buy even some local art <laughs> yeah then there's uh, behind this building there's uh, yeah gym and uh, yeah places to exercise and, and do sport mm. I actually met one uh, lady from Helsinki when I uh, started my walking and she told me that uh, she and her husband they had uh, moved to Enongoski this winter and they ha they actually live in Helsinki and, and have always lived but now they uh, rent rented a apartment from Enongoski for six months <laughs> to live here and now they have lived like mm, four three four months and they have really enjoyed enjoyed and uh, she said that yeah the silence and uh, nature here and everything is is so beautiful but um, and they have loved that but also like the local people they have been very they have welcomed them and they have really got a lot of new friends and felt that they have been able to come a part of this Enongoski community and that I think that tells something about yeah this place yeah I, I, I've also noticed this during this day that uh, being here feels very cozy <laughs> and comfortable mm. yeah but I think now I want to have uh, some afternoon coffee. So let's go to a place where 
we started our walk. Mmm, these are so yummy. They are fresh Finnish cinnamon buns. Mmm, they bake them every day for this cafeteria that's here. Mm, yeah, now we are in the, that red building <laughs> where we started our walk. And uh, yeah, uh, there are many things to experience in Enonkoski, but yeah, Kolovesi National Park is located here too. Yeah, in this room you can get to know the national park. And there are many companies here in this region who uh, organize uh, guided tours to national to that national park or then yeah you can also rent equipment it's a perfect place to do canoeing and kayaking and it's not allowed to use motorboats there so what I told you about the amount of silence and peace of nature here in Enonkoski you definitely find it from Kolovesi National Park. Yeah, but uh, ah, yeah, in this floor there's the Kolovesi National Park info and then in the upper floor you can buy some local handcrafts, very beautiful products to take with you home. And I wanted to show you one thing. Uh, these are actually in Onkoski woolen socks. Yeah, and I think it's just great that this municipality have their own woolen socks. You can see uh, there's green and blue and grey and it's about the forest and water and rocks here in Enonkoski. So inspired by nature <laughs> also. But I have to say that um, I think world really needs this kind of a places like Enongoski. <laughs> this is Finland, slow Finland as its best and uh, in the middle of modern hectic life it's so great that there still are yeah, places like Enangoski. I really enjoyed this day. Welcome to visit Enangoski. You too.